The Palestine national football team Arabic, is the national football team of Palestine and represents Palestine in international football. A football federation in Mandatory Palestine was founded in 1928. However, a team for a future Arab state to be called Palestine was first recognized by FIFA in 1998. After the creation of the Palestinian National Authority, Palestine has yet to qualify for the World Cup. They first qualified for the Asian Cup in May 2014, after beating the Philippines 1–0 in the AFC Challenge Cup final. At the finals in Australia, they were eliminated in the group stage. The team reached an all-time high position of 73rd in the FIFA ranking in February 2018 after not losing any game since early 2016. Palestine's first title was the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup. The country also qualified for the 2019 Asian Cup. Following their readmission by FIFA, the team played no official fixtures in the Palestinian territories due to security concerns until a match on 26 October 2008 against Jordan in the newly renovated Faisal al Husseini International Stadium in Al Ram north of Jerusalem, which finished in a 1 1 draw. In recognition of their efforts, the Palestinian Football Federation was awarded FIFA's inaugural development award and AFC National Team of the Year. History Palestine applied to, and was admitted into FIFA in 1998. They played their first friendly matches against Lebanon, Jordan and Syria in July 1998. The following year, the team, led by Israeli Arab coach Azmi Nasser took part in the 1999 Pan-Arab Games, in which they won the bronze medal after beating Syria, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates, while only losing to hosts Jordan. Palestine's first attempt to qualify for the 2000 AFC Asian Cup and the 2002 FIFA World Cup were unsuccessful, but saw victories against Hong Kong and Malaysia. In 2002, the PFA hired Nikola Hadwa Shawin as manager. Shawin, who was born in Beit Yala, grew up in Chile and had many connections among Santiago's Palestinian community, whence he brought Roberto Bashara, Roberto Catalan, Edgardo Abdallah, Francisco Atura and the Argentine-born Pablo Abdallah into the squad. These players made their debuts in the 2002 Arab Nations Cup. The team exited in the group stage but managed draws against group winners Jordan, hosts Kuwait, and Sudan, with their only loss coming against eventual semi-finalists Morocco. In 2004, two more Latin Americans joined the Palestinian national team Hernán Madrid and the Argentine-born Alejandro Naif. After an unsuccessful Asian Cup qualifying campaign, the PFA hired Austrian coach Alfred Riedel to lead the team in the 2006 FIFA World Cup qualifications. Palestine were drawn in a group alongside Uzbekistan, Iraq and Chinese Taipei. In their first match, Palestine recorded an historic 8-0 win against the Taiwanese. Two months later a 1-1 draw against Iraq put Palestine in first place in the group. Palestine were drawn in a group in Asian Cup qualifying for the 2007 tournament alongside 2004 finalists China, eventual winners Iraq, and Singapore. Palestine still had a chance of qualifying until the penultimate round, after a 1-0 win against Singapore and a 2-2 draw against Iraq. Palestine was invited to participate in the inaugural Challenge Cup in Bangladesh, where they beat Guam 11-0, Cambodia 4-0 and drew with Bangladesh to top their group and reach the quarterfinal, where they were beaten 1-0 by Kyrgyzstan. In the summer of 2006, Palestine achieved its highest ever FIFA ranking at 115, placing them 16th in the Asian continent. The team remained without a manager for most of 2007 and preparations for World Cup qualifying were severely lacking. Palestine lost the first leg of a two-legged playoff against Singapore 0-4 and could not play the return leg as a result of Israeli travel restrictions. In 2008, with the assistance of FIFA's goal program, Jibril Rajob, head of the PFA had the Faisal al Husseini International Stadium built, and on 26 October 2008 Palestine held a match on home soil for the first time since becoming a member of FIFA, a 1-1 draw with Jordan in front of a crowd in excess of 7,000. Palestine received the inaugural FIFA Development Award in recognition of the achievement. Two and a half years later, in March 2011, Palestine played its first ever competitive home game. 
The game, at the Faisal al Husseini International Stadium, was the second leg of a qualifier for the 2012 Olympic Games, against Thailand. Thailand had won the first leg 1 0 in Bangkok, Palestine won the second 1 0 with a goal by Abdulhamid Abuhabib in the 43rd minute. The draw on aggregate led to a penalty shootout, where Palestine lost by 5 6. However, as Thailand was ordered to forfeit the first match because of fielding an ineligible player, Palestine replaced Thailand to play Bahrain next. In the next round against Bahrain, although Palestine won the first leg at Bahrain National Stadium by 1-0, they lost the return leg by 1-2 and eliminated by away goals rule. The team beat Afghanistan 3-1 on aggregate 2-0 away, 1-1 home in the first round of AFC qualification for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. They faced Thailand in the second round, with an away match on 23 July 2011 in Bariram, and a home match on 28 July at Al Ram. Palestine lost the away leg 1-0, with backup goalkeeper Mohamed Shbair saving a penalty in the dying moments of the match to keep the tie alive. Palestine took a 1-0 lead in the sixth minute of the return leg through a Murad Alian goal but conceded ten minutes before half-time, meaning they would have to win by two clear goals in order to advance. Palestine took a 2-1 lead late in the second half but had a man sent off and conceded a goal whilst desperately searching for a winner. They were eliminated from AFC qualification on an aggregate score of 2-3. If the Asian Football Confederation elects to keep the same qualifying format for the 2018 FIFA World Cup they will be ranked 21st and receive a first round bye. The PFA elected not to renew Musa Bezaz's contract after the team failed to advance to the third round of 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifying. Former all wedded player and manager Jamal Mahmoud was announced as the national team manager in November 2011 after two disastrous friendlies without a permanent manager saw the team lose 4-1 and 7-0 to Indonesia and Iran, respectively. His first official match was a friendly against Bahrain in Manama which Palestine won 1-0 courtesy of Ali El Khatib's first international goal. Palestine lost its first game at the 2011 Pan Arab Games to Jordan but recovered well in their following group games. Earning a well-deserved 1-1 draw and a 2-0 win over 2012 African Cup of Nations finalists Libya and Sudan to advance to the semi-finals of the competition. The team eventually exited the competition against eventual champions Bahrain under dubious circumstances when the Bahrainis were awarded a phantom goal in the second half to make the score 3-1. Mahmoud led the team three months later at the 2012 AFC Challenge Cup. In the run-up to the competition, Palestine made history by playing and defeating its first UEFA opponent, Azerbaijan, 2-0. Preparation for the competition was less than ideal with Abdelatif Badari, Roberto Bashara, Omar Jaran, Majid Abusidu, Ali El Khatib, and Imad Zatara unavailable due to club commitments and having RAED fares, Haytham Thebe, Ismail Amur, Mohamed Al Masri, Rafit Ayad, and Murad Alian out with injury. Palestine finished group play at the 2012 AFC Challenge Cup without conceding a goal after 2-0 wins over Nepal and Maldives along with a 0-0 draw against Turkmenistan en route to a semi-final exit at the hands of eventual champions Korea DPR. Palestine won their first West Asian Football Federation Championship match in 2012, defeating Lebanon 1-0 in Kuwait City. In 2013, they secured a second straight AFC Challenge Cup berth, qualifying for the 2014 edition by topping Group D with seven points, ahead of Bangladesh, Nepal, and the Northern Mariana Islands. The team ended up winning the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup without conceding a goal and drawing just one out of five games. The win brought the Palestine team their first major trophy and assured them of participation in the 2015 AFC Asian Cup, also their first ever. In the run up to qualifying they scored 16 goals, won six games and drew twice, while putting together eight straight clean sheets. Ashraf Numan was crowned top scorer of the finals tournament having scored the winning goal in the final against Philippines and three additional goals in the runner-up. Midfielder Murad Ismail was recognized as the most valuable player of the tournament. Shortly following their 2014 AFC Challenge Cup triumph and qualification 2015 AFC Asian Cup qualification, Jamal Mahmoud resigned as national team manager citing irreconcilable differences with the Palestine Football Association. 
Jamal Mahmoud left the post as the most successful manager in national team history by a number of metrics. He led the team to an all-time high rank of 85 in the FIFA rankings, won 14 of his 34 games, registered a 41% win percentage and a points-per-game rate of 1.41. Palestine were placed in Group D at the 2015 AFC Asian Cup alongside Japan, Jordan and Iraq which lost all three group matches. They were defeated 0-4 by Japan, lost 1-5 to Jordan and finished their campaign with a 0-2 loss to Iraq. Following the disastrous showing at the 2015 AFC Asian Cup the PFA appointed Olympic team manager Abdel Nasser Barakat as national team manager who moved to overhaul the squad choosing not to call up Ramzi Saleh, Hussam Abu Saleh, Ismail al Amur, Raed Fares, Murad Ismail Said, and Musa Abu Jazer all of whom had been part of the national team at the last Asian Cup finals. Barakat led a search for a number of players eligible to represent Palestine in South America and Europe. In his first game in charge debutants Pablo Tamburini and Matias Jadou scored in a narrow 3-2 loss to Saudi Arabia in 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification. Palestine registered a pair of famous 6-0 wins over Malaysia during the course of World Cup qualifying. Those results combined with valiant 0-0 draws at home to Saudi Arabia and UAE kept Palestine in the hunt for qualification to the third round of Asian World Cup qualification until the penultimate match day. They were eliminated from 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification following a 2-0 loss away to UAE on 24 March 2016. They won their final 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification match at home five days later 7-0. This game marked the debuts of Ahmed Awad and Yashir Pinto with the national team. It also marked the first time Palestine won a game on home soil since readmission to FIFA following draws against Jordan, Afghanistan, Thailand, and UAE. Topic: <laughs> Home matches in Palestine official. Win. Draw. Loss. Topic: Problems relating to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict The Palestinian Football Federation faces problems in training and playing due to the Israel-Palestinian conflict. Because of travel restrictions placed by Israel upon people in the West Bank and Gaza Strip and the difficulty in obtaining an exit visa from Israel, many players in the team are drawn from the Palestinian diaspora, from as far away as Chile and the United States. Recently, Israel's refusal to issue exit visas has resulted in players, or in some case the entire team, being unable to represent the territories. In November 2006, the last match of 2007 AFC Asian Cup qualification group stage is scheduled. All players based inside the West Bank and Gaza Strip were denied exit visas. The AFC cancelled the match since both teams had been eliminated from the competition by virtue of their previous results against China and Iraq. A film, Gold Dreams, was made about the team attempting to overcome obstacles in the qualification for the 2006 World Cup, who were also featured on the BBC documentary series Frontline Football. In October 2007, the second leg of a crucial 2010 World Cup qualifier between Palestine and Singapore was not played due to Palestine's inability to obtain exit visas. The AFC and FIFA decided not to reschedule the match despite protests from the PFA, and Singapore was awarded a 3-0 win in a walkover match. In May 2008, the team was not allowed to travel to the 2008 AFC Challenge Cup. After a 2011 World Cup qualifier against Thailand, two starters, Mohamed Samara and Majid Abusadu, were refused entry to the West Bank and therefore could not travel back with the team from Thailand. Striker Ziad Al Khord was banned from traveling and had his house destroyed. Tariq Al Qutoh was killed by the Israel Defense Forces, and during the Operation Cast led three Palestinian footballers, Ayman Al Khurd, Shadi Sabak, and Wajay Mashtahe, were among the Palestinian casualties. Mahmoud Sarsik was administratively detained by Israel in July 2009 for being a member of Islamic Jihad, following a hunger strike and international pressure on his behalf from FIFA President Sepp Blatter. He was released in July 2012. In 2012, Olympic team goalkeeper Omar Abu Ruways was arrested by Israel for being a member of a terrorist cell. Samay Maraba was arrested in April after returning with his team from training in Qatar. 
The Shin Bet accused Maraba of exploiting his status as a Palestinian football player to act as a courier for Hamas. Shin Bet released a statement in which it was contended that Maraba admitted that, before he left for Qatar, he met a senior Hamas operative in Kalkilia, asked him to meet an operative from Hamas military wing in Qatar and received money, a cell phone and written messages which he brought back to Hamas operatives in Kalkilia. Palestinian facilities, such as Palestine Stadium, have been damaged in military conflicts. The team's former goalkeeper Abu Rwayyis was arrested in connection with an attack on IDF soldiers in April 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Competition records FIFA World Cup Topic Olympic Games Topic AFC Asian Cup Topic Asian Games Football at the Asian Games has been an under-23 tournament since 2002. AFC Challenge Cup WAF Championship West Asian Games Topic Arab Nations Cup Topic Pan Arab Games Topic Recent results and fixtures 2019 AFC Asian Cup Group B Topic Players Topic Current Squad Topic Recent Call Ups The following players have also been called up to the Palestine squad within the last 12 months. Topic: <inaudible> Past squads. 2006 AFC Challenge Cup squad. 2012 AFC Challenge Cup squad. 2012 Arab Nations Cup squad. 2015 AFC Asian Cup squad. Topic Head to head records Topic Statistics Topic Top goal scorers As of the twenty seventh of March twenty eighteen Topic Most capped players As of the twenty seventh of November twenty eighteen, the ten players with the most caps for Palestine are Topic Coaches Topic Honors AFC Challenge Cup Winners 1 2014 Bangabandhu Cup Winners 1 2018 Pan Arab Games Third place 1 1999 Philippine Peace Cup Third place 1 2014 West Asian Games Fourth place 1 2002 Topic See also 
Palestine national football team all-time record Palestine national football team results Palestine national under-23 football team Palestine women's national football team